Well, it's hump day, and it's a good one. It's Wednesday, and we are talking about Goyokin from 1969. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss this. We'll be right back. Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. Happy, happy hump day, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I hope your week is going well. I hope you've had a great half of the work week and you're looking forward to the weekend coming soon. That's right. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. In the description down below are links to all our stuff. If they're not there because YouTube sometimes is horrible, then the nerdyronin.com is the place to be. All right. So, so. A long time ago, Bushido Blues reviewed a movie and talked about a movie, and then we talked about a movie, he and I, and I wanted to see it. But it's extremely hard to find, and if you get it brand new, it's extremely expensive. And it just so happens that I found it used through Amazon, and I bought it. When I got it, it was the wrong disc inside. It was a different movie. So I had to send it back, get my money back, and a little more time passed, and then I found it for just a couple dollars more than what I originally paid for it, used, and I bought it, and this is it right here. Koyoke on DVD. Um, it was a used copy, but in very good shape. No fingerprints or anything. I was extremely happy about that. And I finally got around to being able to sit down and enjoy this movie. I knew that Bushido Blue spoke very highly of it, and so I knew it wasn't going to be a bad movie. It just, I needed to find the right time and motivation to sit down and watch a solid, rather long samurai movie. So let's take a look at it. Goyokin, 1969, PG, 2 hours and 4 minutes. A guilt-haunted samurai warrior attempts to stop a massacre from taking place for once. Internet Movie Database, for the most part, got it correct. Uh, this is about a heist. It's about samurais. It's about honor of a samurai. It's about the way of a samurai. It's about standing up even if you might die. To do the right thing. It's, it's directed by Hideo Gosha. And let me look at the case here again, because I don't want to lie to you. He directed Three Outlaw Samurai, which we reviewed on this channel. You'll have to go back a little ways. Uh, starring Tetsuya Nakadai, star of Ran, and many other great samurai movies. Um, <clears throat> written by Kei Tosaka and Hideo Gosha. Stars... Tetsuya Nakadai, Tetsuro Tenba, Yoko Tsukasa, yeah, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> hey, you know I'm from Arkansas, all right? <clears throat> and the truth is, I'm actually from Misery, but uh, that's right next door. Um, I was, it was stunning to me from the very beginning of this movie, which was a little, like, odd in the way it was shot. Uh, first things first. I did not watch a trailer for this movie at all, ever. I wanted to keep it a surprise for what was going to happen. I wanted, I, I didn't want to be, I didn't want to make any opinions on it before watching it. And I knew it was an older movie, but it was extremely surprising to me how it looked and felt very much like a spaghetti western from the 70s. And this being from 1969, now I understand that, but it was shot much like a spaghetti western. You could have put cowboy hats on every one of the people, uh, characters in this movie, and it would have been a great western. Like old school western, spaghetti western, something, you know, late 60s, early 70s. 
it was amazing to me how much it felt like that. It felt like a Western. There's some choppiness in the editing. There's some weird, like, ways they did the editing. That's a bit distracting in a couple of places. But it's shot beautifully. A little confusing, but beautiful for the most part. And the story, once it gets going, because they kind of start you out in the, like, in the middle-ish. And then as you go progress through the story, you find out more about the, the past and why this is happening and, and etc. Okay? And it works. It's just a little distracting at first. But as the story gets going, it is an extremely enjoyable uh, movie. And the story is super cool and super unique. The heist aspect of it is very interesting. It's very... It, if you love samurai cinema, this is going to be right up your alley. However, if you only love newer samurai cinema... This may be a little difficult to get through. There's a few parts that even I was kind of like, all right, come on now. Keep going. Get started. Because there was just a couple of parts that kind of slowed it down a little bit too much for me. But overall, the world building, the character building, the characters, the acting in it, the storyline, the cinematography, the... and. The fights, the sword fights are fantastic. Like, really well done. I was super impressed with this movie. And it was great fun to watch. But, it does draw out a little bit through the middle. You have to, you have, to have patience with this. This movie very easily could have been an hour and 45 minutes, hour and 40 minutes, something like that. But the way it's edited is the way it's edited. And if you watch this movie, I'm going to tell you right now, during the climactic final battle, <laughs> the way it's edited, it suddenly goes to some guys with masks drumming on these big drums and back to the fight and then back to the drummers. And I swear, I thought it was Slipknot had jumped in this 1969 movie. No joke. <laughs> it was so, like, it It just, the way it was edited in that part took me out of the movie just a bit. And then, so I had to work my way back in during this climactic battle. And I, I didn't have the TV up real loud, but I believe the drumming is in the distance of the final battle, you know. But it's just distract. it's just to bounce back and forth during the drumming. It, it, it was the only thing for me that did not work because it distracted me from the final battle. It was weird. Uh, that, was, that was the only off-putting thing for me. The rest of it, it's fantastic. I love this movie. It was, it was great. I'm glad I own it. I'm glad I have it in physical media. I would love to see it on 4K at some point. So you can, because it's got some really dark parts and like dark, the, the blacks are real black and inky and and in a couple of places, because it's so dark, it's hard to see what's going on. It would be nice to see it in 4K with a little bit more detail, a little better cut of the film, which probably will never happen. But we can hope. We can dream, right? But owning the DVD, I'm cool with that. I'm happy I have it. Uh, it is classic now as far as I'm concerned. Is it uh, Kurosawa? No. But man, it is it is super close for me because I love a good Western, a good old school spaghetti Western. Man, there's just something, something about an old school spaghetti Western that just really, I thrive on that. Fantastic. And this has all those marks, you know, it checks all those boxes, unintentionally so, in my opinion. So there you have it. Hey, I've been talking a long time <laughs> about a great movie. This is a 5 out of 5 for me. Even with the parts that kind of slowed it down in the middle, it was still a great watch. And at some point, I will probably sit down and watch this again. Just to, you know, earlier in the day. Because last night, 
it was making me tired in a couple of scenes. But overall, fantastic movie. If you like samurai stuff, samurai cinema, kung fu, martial arts films, good action films with a great story, this is your jam. And if you don't like those things, watch it anyway. All right? Uh, you can search for it on Amazon. But you know what? I, I'm not I'm not going to lie to you. It's, I couldn't find it on streaming anywhere. So if you want to watch this, you'll have to buy it. Uh, so there's that. Well worth the purchase, however. All right, you guys. I'm out of here. I got to go. Friday's coming soon, and I got to get my review started. Because I still don't know what it's going to be, y'all. I think it's going to be a, another Jet Li movie because I need, I, I need him to redeem himself. <laughs> All right, you guys, I got to go. For Michael the Microphone, Bob, squeaky chair in the back, and this big fat silly nerd. We'll see you on Friday.